Hey guys, in this video, I am going to show you how to use the Project Huddle WordPress plugin. Plugins for WP. WordPress premium plugins and themes for an affordable price. So if you don't know, the Project Huddle plugin is a great feedback plugin that agencies are using to connect and communicate with their clients, the one who they designed the websites for. So in this video, we will pretend that this WP royalty website is the client side. The client website okay and the client would like to change the text color from yellow to pink and this agency website will get the feedback or the comment from the client from the customer and will change the element according to his request we'll do that uh, in a second so in order to get this project huddle website navigate to plugins for wp.com forward slash project huddle if you'd like to get it here, uh, you can definitely go to the pricing page and buy the plugin for $109 at least minimum. However, you can also buy the same exact plugin from plugins for wp.com. Over here, just look for Project Huddle and you can get the same plugin for only $4.99. The exact same plugin. The only difference is that we don't provide support to the plugin. Whether you purchase the plugin from us or from projecthuddle.com, you will get the plugin as a zip file and you will need to upload it to your WordPress website. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about if you have an agency, but if you don't, I'm just going to remind you, go to the back end of your agency WordPress website, into plugins and add new, click on upload plugin and then choose the plugin that you just downloaded. After you installed and activated the plugin, you will see this new project huddle tab over here, go to websites and now we will need to add our customer or our client website so click on add website and here give it a name at the top our client website name is WP royalty just like so and I'm also going to copy the URL over here and paste it over here click next if your client using a WordPress website choose WordPress and then you'll be able to connect automatically by clicking on the blue button. You can try if it's going to work for you awesome. If not, just click on connect manually and you'll get this JavaScript code. We will need to copy it and paste it in the client side. So let's copy it, go to the client website and now we'll go to plugins, add new and here we're going to look for Project Huddle. Now the plugin that we are going to install, it's the Project Huddle plugin, but for the client side, which is different than the agency plugin that we installed in the beginning of this video. Install and activate the client side on your client website, and then go to settings, feedback, and into the connection tab, paste the code over here and click save changes. Then you'll get this green feedback notifying you that you are connected to the agency side. Back on the agency side, click I've pasted this code. And you're also going to get the green feedback over here that you are connected to your client website. Now to view all the feedbacks and comments that left by your clients, go to Project Huddle Overview. And here you will see a list of all the feedback, which is none right now. To leave a feedback as a client, go to the page that you would like to leave the feedback and you will find out that because you activated the client side project title plugin, you will see this new comment bar at the bottom over here. What you need to do right now, is just click on comment and then click on the element that you would like to comment. For example, if you want to ask our agency to change the color of this text, we'll click on this element and we'll type, please change the color to pink and then click on add comment just like so excellent we can see the comment over here now back to the agency side let's say i'm the agency i'm going to over you one more time and here i can see all the comments i see that it was left on wp royalty and this is the comment i can click on it and here i can see the comment that was left and also i can switch to the details tab and see on which element what's the browser, the location, etc. When I want to keep communicating with a client, 
I will switch back to the reply tab and here I will add my reply something like okay I will change it soon or okay I will do it soon and then I will click on add comment and the nice thing that my client can actually see it when he refreshing his page so after refresh he will be able to see my comment from my agency okay I will change it soon after the color was changed the client can change the status of this comment to resolve by clicking on this box here or the agency itself can change the status to resolve over here and whoever changing the status to resolve the other side will see it so right now the agency changed it to resolve the client can't even see the comment anymore because the comment was resolved if the client would like to see all the resolved feedback and comments he'll just need to click on this box over here and hide the resolved boxes and you'll see it over here and also again on the element itself where you can see the resolve status and even unresolve it and reopen it for another review.